Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Z, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live. And I know what y'all thinking. You're going against two brown shirts. What well, shit? I'd rather be going against two brown shirts than have two brown shirt twos on my team, ladies and gentlemen. Look, man, it's all good because on the whole fucking show, I'm out here like I'm out like my name really is. But you know, it, it, it is what it is, man. Look, I came out here. I just wanted to try to have a little fun on the park. And uh, I ain't like everybody else, man. You know, as you might see from the beginning, my brown shirts are not the swiftest defensively. But sometimes when you come out here and you see people playing with anybody, that's like if you see a legend playing with anyone that's under his rank, they don't pass the ball. They don't play no damn defense. It's just like the legend just comes out there and they just don't do shit. I mean, it, it's been to the point where people would just be fucking with me like, come on, legend. You can do it, legend. Like, what the fuck? Like, people actually look at, like, legends, like, get a bad rep in this game, I suppose, because a lot of people just, they don't want to play against you. They don't want to play with you because they feel like you're selfish. And I just don't get that. Why, why play like that? Like, is the game fun to you? To play like that, I, I just don't know, man. But it is what it is. Now, I definitely understand sometimes when randoms just don't do not do anything like that right there. Why you just let the dude spin baseline or or when they don't um hit shots or when they don't, when they don't, when they dribbling the ball and they just keep losing to something like that. But when you got a random like that that knows his role and can cut through the hole and go straight to the motherfucking rack and he understands that, look, I got a guard on me. I'm a big man, and and my my advantage is in the post. I can't help but not. I can't help but to give it to him. Now, you gotta play defense, big fella. That's all I can tell you right now, big fella. You gotta come down to play defense, big fella. I know you didn't just fire that dude, big fella. <laughs> Look, he just fired a dude on that. I mean, I, I don't know what to do, man. I, I guess he thought I was a random right now because um. He just tried to go up with that, but you can get that shit up out of here. But man, I ain't gonna lie, these dudes weren't that bad. Look at it from long range. Hit that bitch from long range. This dude right here, man, he knew his role to a T. He knew that he uh, that he had a guard on him, and that's all that he needed to do was uh cut to the rim and use a cheese ass, cheap ass uh, back cut dunk on him or whatever. Now my other random, I don't know what he was doing. Matter of fact, I don't even know which dude he was. And I don't even know how you made that bullshit. This is one thing I can't tell I can't tell you. This dude was probably one of the uh, guys that had no inside scoring. Trade up! Splash down! That dude was probably one of the dudes that had no inside scoring because he's a damn uh, brown shirt. And um, he was able to hit that get fouled and that super cheesy ass stay up. Now that shit ain't going in, but he was able to hit that. But I guarantee, man, they gonna make me not hit mine. See, right on fucking cute, I don't hit mine. And I guarantee, like, it's just so crazy because they'll let you hit those layups with no inside scoring. But you can be an outside, look at that. You gotta play defense, big fella, back door on it, right? I mean, you could play, you could be wide open in the corner with corner specialists, limitless range, and an outside player, and they are not gonna let you hit the jump shot. I mean, I just don't get it, but they'll let you hit contested uh, layups all day long, but you know it is what it is. But he didn't hit that contested layup, because like I said, man, this random, he's out here with the with the sweatpants on and the original black shirt. Like, he just won his first game to get the uh, to get the brown shirt or doodle brown, too. But uh, he is just like, yeah, he played a game. He did what he was supposed to do. But like I said, man, every game, you ain't going to be going off. Every game, like right here, let me see Oh, 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 I thought I was. I thought I was about to pull up on his ass and tell him I'm pulling up on you. Now you gotta pass the ball sometimes, Randall. Right there is when I would have been thinking a little bit about, hey, I might, I might need to get this dude to pass the ball some. But you know, I, I just can't play like that, man. Ooh, baseline, red release. I, I don't know why that that goes in like every time. First off, I don't know why they give you a red release anyway. But you know, it is what it is, man. Some people call it that red release cheese. But if you get right there, he should have just dunked the damn ball. It shouldn't have been. It shouldn't even come down to that. But anyway, like I was saying, man, you can't. Uh, you got to treat some randoms good, man. You got to get that shit out of here. That's exactly what I was thinking, man. You you got to treat the randoms good, man. You can't. You can't just be like fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play hero ball out here and uh. And and not because it ain't nothing worse than when you tell somebody, hey man, you gotta pass the ball or you gotta play some defense, and they be like, well here, here you take the ball, here just take it. You be like, what? I don't want to just take the ball. I want you to dog on um, I want you to play better. That's what I want you to do. But you know it is what it is. Take it wide open, trays up, man. Get the fuck out of here. That's what I'm talking about. You blast ass open. You get a good release for three. 
And uh, you missed it, and I thought there was Lamarcus Aldridge on quick, but this was when I was trying not to uh, jump a 27 Jamal Crawford on quick, and that's when I realized that it wasn't for me. And you see right there, man, pass that thing again to the big dude down low. If this guy's playing well, why wouldn't I give him the ball? I'm gonna give him the ball until he proves otherwise. Now the other guy, I can't speak for him. He has not touched the ball that much. He's not played any defense, but uh, fortunately his guy can't shoot the ball the basketball at all. So, you know, we feeling, we feeling good a little bit down here. Look at the big dude down there. Now, now it's starting to get a little bit damn excessive. You gotta pass that damn ball, like, cause I've been out there on the wing three times. Now I bricked that bitch like three times too, so I probably wouldn't pass it to me. But you know it is what it is, man. But like I said, we just gotta do better, man. Like, I see, you know, I just see so many people trying to do things outside of what they're able to do. If you can shoot the jumpers, shoot jumpers. If you outside, you be outside. If you can, if you can dribble, dribble. But like, like, it's just too many people that out here that they just try to take over the game or they try to do the dribble and they try to do all the things that they can't really do. Like, if you haven't practiced, if you haven't practiced something, why the hell would you be good at it? So everybody's not going to just pick up the game. Well, I don't know why you took that shot right there. You must have been watching somebody else's videos. But um, if you're not good at something, why would, I mean, if you're not practicing it, why would you, uh, why would you try to do it in a game? Now, I do, I do think they need to, they need to put some type of practice mode where you can kind of practice a little bit more effectively in your gym or whatever. Hell, maybe they already got it. Fuck, I don't know. I don't play too much of this game. Get this shit out of here. And now, look at that shit. Right now, like I said, man, my jump shot ain't falling. I got to find other ways to win. So, in addition to having seven points, I got four rebounds and four assists. But, uh, you know, I wish there was a way to just kind of practice practice out here. I guess the closest way is going to be like 21, but that game boring as fuck, man. Nobody don't want to play no 21 uh, out here. You know, we want to just do it. Oh, you want to back up off me, Trey's up? Man, get the fuck out of here with these damn misses, man. Like, I know, I know I ain't that far off. You see the shit still on the line. You can't even see the white line. It's so close. And this random is still not playing defense, man. I, I just am not getting it. I, I don't know. I don't know who he been watching or what. But I'm just like, you know what? Let's just get this thing over with, man. Give it to him up top. And uh, he goes down low to the big man. Rack! And that's the game, man. Like I said, there's more than one way to win. When your shot ain't on, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to just... You don't have to uh, just stand around and not do shit, man. You can actually get involved and pass the ball and do some other stuff. And even when you're doing that, uh, you got to hold your man all the way down. You see that dude didn't even score, man. But anyway, let me get up out of here, man. I'm kind of pissed off in the commentary, kind of off, because I did this one last night and my computer fucking died on me. So I'm just trying to get it out to y'all this morning. I hope y'all enjoyed it. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Holla! And y'all go back and watch that art of storytelling too, man. 360 at this month. That was so fucking epic.